This is workout A of the Turbulence Training 2K9 Fusion Fat Loss Program. We're going to start with barbell squat and decline push-ups. Now if you can't do a barbell squat, we're going to do one-legged squats instead. So barbell squat, you're going to rack that bar about chest height, step underneath, and rest that bar on the meat of your upper back, so those are called the traps up here. Brace your abs, unrack the bar, step out. Feet are going to be just wider than hip width apart here. Head up, looking forward, chest up, nice proud posture. Push your hips back a little bit and drop them. Squat nice and low. And drop up. So hips back, drop down. Push through your heels, push through your glutes and come back up. And you're going to go immediately from that squat without rest to the decline push up. Of course, if you can't do a decline push up, you can do regular push up, you can do close grip push up, whatever challenges you. Now, if you can't do the squat, we're going to do the one leg squat. So, there's a couple of ways we can do it. One, we can use the bench, so we can have the bench behind us, hands clasped, leg out in front, and we're going to sit back under the bench, and then drive through that leg. So sit back, and up. Just make sure that you control yourself all the way down to the bench, don't drop your butt down on it really hard, and then squeeze through that leg and come back up. So let's use that alternative if you can't do a regular barbell squat, so if you don't have access to it. So that's the first superset. Some type of squat movement and a decline push-up or regular push-up. Okay, next up you're going to do a dumbbell Bulgarian split squat and a stability ball roll down. So, one foot up in front, get that other foot back up on the bench, hold the dumbbells in your hand, drop your hips straight down, and come back up. So as you drop down, as you drop down, you're going to get a strong stretch in that back leg. Now if you can't do that one, if that's too advanced, you can just do regular split squats. If you're a real beginner, just hold on to something, get that nice split squat stance, and use a pull for balance so that you can still do the exercise. After we've done both legs, then we're going to go down and round and do stability ball rollouts, one of my favorite abdominal exercises. So knees on something nice and soft, hands on the ball, brace your abs, roll out, and squeeze them and come back up. So stretch and squeeze. All right, so single leg exercise, abdominal exercise, that's superset number two. All right, last superset. This one's a little bit different. I mean, first, first we're going to do stability ball leg curls. That's not different at all. But what we're going to do in the dumbbell row is a little bit different. So leg curls, 20 repetitions. Heels on the ball. Bridge those hips up. Keep them bridged up as you curl your legs back. So don't get lazy and putting the hips down. Keep them bridged up all the time. All right, so 20 reps there. Then you're gonna come up. And what I want you to do now, is gonna sound a little strange, I want you to do 20 repetitions for each arm in the dumbbell row with a weight that you can only do 15 repetitions with. So what that really means is, as we get up and doing high reps, endurance repetition ranges, really it becomes a matter of you know, mental, mental commitment to the exercise. So what I want you to do is squeeze out a few extra reps with a weight that you think you can only do 15 times. So otherwise, regular dumbbell row, get nice and, uh, you're going to be nice and ready from it from the push-ups. If you want to do a warm-up set, that's fine, but you probably won't need it. What you're going to do 
is regular dumbbell rows and squeeze out as many reps as you can. Again, I've chosen a weight I think I can do 15 times. I've got good form, front arm there supporting me, as well as the knee, abs braced, row up, down. So once I start getting close to 15, I'm going to think about quitting, but I'm going to stay strong and keep going as long as I have good form and can hold on to that dumbbell, I'm going to keep going. So don't stop until you can't hold that dumbbell anymore or you can't maintain that form. That's it. You're going to do 15 to 20 repetitions with a weight you can do 15 times. So hopefully you understand what I mean there, but it's really pushing through that you know, comfort zone that you've set out in your head. So that's it. You do smoothie ball leg curls, dumbbell rows, each side obviously. Then you're done the strength training portion into intervals, and that's it for workout A.